Right, so I'm talking to Michael Aldridge, who's a construction uh, lecturer at Reese Heath College. Um, Michael, can I just ask you, um, obviously I said that you're a construction, uh, construction lecturer, can you give me a bit more detail about what the areas that you, uh, you teach? Yeah, of course. Uh, I teach joinery. Um, I do, we do teach levels one, two and three, so the level ones is the basic skills that we do teach. Um, but we also do uh, bench and site joinery. So there's two different disciplines. There's a lot of different disciplines, but the two main ones really are bench and site. Uh, site workers are the ones that go in and install and, and build, whereas uh, bench workers are the ones that work at benches and uh, make windows and doors and manufacture um, things for people, if you like. It, it could be anything. Yeah. Brilliant. So what are the, um, or, well, are there other kind of construction trades courses that you offer at Reese Heath? There is. Well, jo joinery is the best one, of course. But, uh, <laughs> but there is, yeah, we, we offer it. We offer a lot here. Uh, there's plastering, which is which is a very good trade to get into. Uh, brick, brick laying. It's a very, very good one as well. Uh, it's a Joinery is, is run in two separate uh, ones, like I said before. The, we, we run a site and a bench. Uh, and also we do a, a built environment. So if you want to go down the route of, uh, you know, management, construction management, uh, there, there's also a course available in um, the built environment as well. Right, okay, brilliant. So in terms of um, your expectations as a, as, as a college, and I suppose colleges generally, I mean, what do you expect from the people that come into college, either before they, they come to you and while they're there, from a, an academic point of view, attitude point of view, what are you looking for? So, obviously, it's, it's, it's very, very important that everyone understands this. This year, we've had 41 Level 1 students enrol, uh, which is a record amount this year. Mm -hmm. um, there are people waiting. Um, I can't hit home enough the fact that this is a choice. You choose to do this qualification, okay? So with that in mind, you are showing a level of commitment that you want to attend and you want to do this. Yeah. So hopefully it, it, it comes hand in hand with, with the learner. Positive attitude goes a long way. You don't necessarily have to be the best person at any of the, the qualifications or anything. It's your willingness to learn and understand and retain the knowledge. Um, and, and I can say from, and, and this, this will probably benefit you as a school as well, I can say from the other side of the, you know, the, the other side of the wall, minimum core maths and English, mm -hmm. okay? You probably hear it a lot from your tutors, get it done, get as much out of it as you can while it's free, while it's there. When you join any college, and I'm not talking about Reese East, this is nationwide, you have to have a minimum core maths and English. Mm -hmm. If you can achieve that at school, it will free up a lot more time when you're at college. You will be expected to do maths and English to a certain level whilst you're in college. Uh, if you don't achieve it whilst you're at school, it will be timetabled in for your lessons in between uh, the joinery, the practicals, which, whichever uh, discipline you decide to take. Yeah. Uh, so if you achieve that at school, while well, you've got all the hope, uh, all, the, all, the, all the help that you've got there, uh, it'll free up uh, a lot more spare time for you uh, when you go to college. And it's a nationwide thing. So right. OK, so it's not just specific to your, it's your not. College. So yeah, so the, the, the attitude to the students, the students' attitude, it, it, as long as you're prepared, you're polite, you, you know, you turn up on time, you punch, you, you know, you're punctual, you, you turn up on time, you've got the right attitude, you, you can achieve anything with the right mindset. Fantastic. I mean, what would, um, so say uh, some pupils go off to college, come to Reese Heath or, or, or wherever, uh, what should they expect as the kind of, um, going from kind of day one through the course? I mean, what, what's, uh, what should their expectations be? Um, you should obviously be open minded because uh, if you you can't you can't walk into it, it, I, I'm a, I'm talking from joinery uh, perspective, but I'm sure it'll be the same everywhere else, whether it's a, a vet doctor, a construction worker or anything. Yeah. You, you, you can't 
look at the bigger picture. You've got to start from the start. You can't walk straight into the construction industry thinking you can build a house. You're going to have to learn and, and, and do the first basic steps. OK, so with joinery, so I'm going to talk from, from a joinery instructor point of view. OK, if you walk in thinking that you're going to be able to build a house, build fine furniture straight away, you're not going to be able to. You need to you need to have a willingness to learn, retain, retain, retain the information yeah. and, and keep hold of it and build on things that you're learning. So when you're coming in, you, you must expect that you don't know you're here to learn you're here to to, to pick up the skills yeah. okay so be patient with it yeah. uh, and, and and your imagination pays dividends i was showing uh we, we, i had a lesson this morning online uh, and one of the basic joints that you learn to do is called the mortise and tenon joint mm -hmm. and then the number of times i've had learners say why am i doing this what what's it for well, what's the point of this if you look at a bigger picture, uh, I'm afraid I, I can't show you what a mortise and tenon joint is because I don't have one to hand. But four mortise and tenon, take it from me, four mortise and tenon joints uh, is, is the basis for a table, table legs, mm -hmm. table top. So all of a sudden, that little silly joint that you don't know why you're doing it, yeah. look at the bigger picture, uh, you buy 30 quid's worth of timber, do four mortise and tenon joints and put a top on it, That you, you've got a 200 quid table there. So, so it's about starting from the basics, learning start from the basics, think of a bigger picture and learn. It, it's a progression. Yeah. Fantastic. And I mean, what obviously you can speak about research, but what, what can colleges offer? I mean, what I suppose what are the benefit for the kids? Uh, not just in terms of the courses, but the, the kind of the pastoral side of, of, of things, the social side of things. I mean, what what's Obviously, I'm going to talk on behalf of Reeve College uh, yeah. because uh, obviously I work here. I did work at other colleges, and um, I, I, you know I'm not going to get into sort of like uh, bad mouthing everywhere else. Yeah. But uh, I, I can I can say honestly with my hand on my heart that this place it, 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 it's 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 like a um, it's it's like a wealth of sort of like um, student services. You know, it, it's not just uh it's not you're not just coming to learn a trade you're not just coming to learn a course yeah. it's it's an environment that you're invested in and we're investing in you uh any social problems any social issues any health problems you know we, we have a very very good student services team mm -hmm. uh they're there to help anybody with any problem as am i as yeah. any of the instructors are um also it, it's 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 kind of not like a school environment. You, you're treated as a young adult when you come here. You're not yeah. looked at as, as, as a child. You, you're looked at as an adult. So in that case, there's a sense of responsibility on yourself. Uh, so you, you need to, you need to uh, uh, you know, appreciate that, that you, you're seen as an adult. You, you're here as a choice. But the, the, it comes with, you get older, the, there's more things, in, uh, you know, there's more things available to you. Yeah. Um, but there, there is uh, student services teams, there's student-led teams. Right. Uh, just just get online and have a look. Uh, yeah. I, I'd like to say attend the open, uh, open uh, <laughs> event this year, but yeah. you know, I'm not, not sure what's going to go ahead with that at the minute. Yeah. Everything's all virtual now. I mean, yeah. uh, just one, one final question. Then. I mean, what are um, kind of the future prospects of, of, of people at Reese Heath and other colleges that go into the construction areas? Are they are they taken on by big building firms? Do they become self-employed? What are the what are the kind of the general pathways? The, there's uh, there's a there's a lot of disciplines. With I'm I'm speaking again from Reese Heath and part of joinery, but uh, there's it is what you want to make out of it. There's a lot of different career paths. Yeah, it isn't just going on to a construction site, you, you can make bespoke windows. You could work for the National Trust replacement, wow. uh, replacing windows, replacing doors. Uh, you can go self-employed. You can work for somebody else. You, you know, it, it's it, if, if full-time uh, education isn't there, there's apprentices uh, apprenticeships available for you as well. So yeah. you can get paid and work as well as come to college uh, and, and get your qualifications that way. Uh, you can, 
you, you could be working at a bench, you can make furniture, you can make houses, yeah. you can make bespoke joinery, you can work for different things. I, I know a few people that have left here and, and they're working for uh, an oak frame company and they make huge barns um, oh, wow. uh, and, and uh, garages for people, oak frame yeah. things. So, so it, it's it's whatever you do. We'll give you the information. We'll give you the skills, and we'll teach you how to do things. It's what you do with it. The, the world's your oyster. Once you know what you can do, and once you realise what you can achieve with the knowledge that you've got, you can do anything that you want. So, and that that's kind of the uh, I suppose the, the best piece of advice that you, you can give. Kind of work your hardest, do your best. The world. I, I can uh, on, honestly say. Uh, I mean. A lot of our students come through, uh, and, and genuinely, uh, with my hand on my heart, um, we, 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 the students that we get, I grew up in with a similar background to the majority of these students. So, I, I, I mean, I, I was very narrow-minded with with a lot of things, unwilling to accept, uh, you know, certain things. And uh, but now, talking talking from like growing up, maturing, and 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 like I said before, the other the, the other side of the screen sort of thing. Yeah. Get what you can out of everything. School is dead important, and I know you're probably bored of hearing that, but it <laughs> is, it, it, it genuinely is. Get make the most of it. Get your maths and English, and it is genuinely put in. You get out of it what you put into it. Yeah. And once you've achieved that, you come to us, and you know. Uh, you, you can achieve whatever you need to achieve. That's brilliant. Well, Michael, thanks a lot for your time. I really appreciate it. No worries. Okay, take, take care. care. Bye. Bye-bye.